so is it worth it? If you watch my Texas road trip video, you know that on that return leg from Austin to LA, the temperatures in Texas were mm, toasty upper 90s the entire day. And that caused the V4 to run so hot that I ended up with heat blisters on the back of my legs. So one of the very first things I did when I got back to LA was order the Ducati Spacers heat shield kit. It comes with a very thorough manual, so you can definitely install this yourself. It's not that difficult, but it's time consuming. You'll have to remove the battery cover, seat, and gas tank. You have to loosen the subframe and loosen the top part of the fairings. There are engine covers on both sides of the bike and you have to remove both of those. Unfortunately, each side is held on by three two and a half millimeter screws, so they're tiny, and your chances of stripping them are pretty much 100%. In fact, in the instruction manual, they say in red lettering that they're incredibly easy to strip. I tried to be very careful and I ended up stripping four of the six screws, getting them out. Oh no. Luckily, they give you six replacement screws in the kit. So if you do strip the screws, you're gonna need to get a Dremel and grind a slot on the head so that you can remove it with a flathead. Kind of annoying. The entire installation process took about four hours beginning to end. And the biggest chunk of time in this install was doing that, getting the screws out for the side engine covers. And it's a really confined area, so there's not a lot of space to work with. So this was pretty much the most difficult part of the process. The kit comes with all the heat shielding and a new right side engine cover. And the new engine cover is about two or three inches longer, so it just gives you that little bit more heat protection. But at the end of the process, you'll have heat shielding on the bottom of the seat, heat shielding on the inside of the side engine covers, and on the inside of the subframe, which will all combine to shield your body from the heat and make the bike much more comfortable to ride. Because it's a little fiddly and you have to remove the gas tank and you have to get out your Dremel, I'd probably give this a four on the difficulty scale of mods to do. In the description section, I'll link to a couple of videos that I watched before I installed mine that were really helpful. So is it worth it? Yes, a thousand times yes. In fact, I would go so far as to say, this is the very first mod you should do when you're V4 when you get one. It makes riding the bike so much more comfortable. I think we can all agree that any bike that runs so hot that it gives you heat blisters on the back of your legs when you go for a long ride on a hot day is a 10 on the heat scale. So we're gonna call a V4 a 10 on the heat scale. So after you install the heat shield kit, it does a couple of things actually. It takes the maximum heat down from a 10 to a seven is what I would say. A seven is still pretty warm. So don't think that this heat shield kit's gonna turn it into an electric bike or something where you can ride it for an hour and the whole bike is cool to the touch after you get off of it. No, let's manage our expectations. But it's gonna take it down from second degree burns hot to just warm, but it will be way more comfortable. The second thing the heat shield kit does is that it really delays the buildup of heat. A regular V4, I would say you're going to be at maximum heat on a hot day within 10 minutes. You're going to be at a 10 on the heat scale, especially if you're going to be riding around in the sport or race modes that bump up the horsepower and really increase the heat. With the heat shield kit, it takes about 20, 25 minutes to get to maximum heat. And that maximum heat is only a seven on the scale. So that's a big improvement. And a couple of people have asked if I noticed any difference in the engine temperature. Was the temperature gauge running hotter than normal? The answer to that one is no. The only thing this heat shield kit does is shield your butt and your legs from the insane amount of heat coming off this bike. So again, highly recommended. In fact, this is gonna be one of those mods that you put on your bike that you're gonna say, I wish I had done that sooner. And I don't wanna anger the Red Army here, but it is criminal that Ducati does not include this shielding when they build these bikes. At Ducati scale, it would add, what, $20, $30 to the cost of this bike? Well, worth it to prevent your customers from being burned. So would definitely recommend this one. Oh, and full disclosure, I paid for my heat shield kit, but I reached out to Ducati Spacers and asked them if they had a discount code I could pass on to viewers of the channel. So that if you're interested in a heat shield kit, you could get yours at a discount. 
and thankfully they did. So use the discount code on the screen right now for 15% off. Thank you to Ducati Spacers. And for more mods and motorcycle adventures, subscribe and hopefully I will catch you on the next one.